Na chakula hakuna. Mami hamwambiake vetu. Ncho kabisa shida ile. Mami general hamwambiake kitu. Chakula hakuna, sira hakuna. Wale tudanganya wakisema tutapewa sira tukishafika Rwindi. Lakini tumetoka kwenye mstari wa mapambano hakuna chochote ambacho wanaweza wakati support. Na hiyo imekuwa imekuwa chanjo ambacho kinasababisha vijana warudi. Wanapofika kwenye kambi kuu ya Rwindi wakuu wanatusimamisha wakisema haitawezekana nyinyi mupite na njala inakuwa mingi sana kabisa kabisa hali na katala kabisa hali na katala fasi ya adui kuna sira nzito nzito lakini tuna sira ndogo ndogo na hatuna sira tulikuja mikono mtupu wakitudanganya wakisema sira zitaonekana kwenye mstari wa mapambano na njoo shida ile ambayo vijana wana Okay 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 shukrani wazazi yetu mtusaidie na muangalie kama tufanye nini ili tuweze tukafieka huyu adui ya def pamoja na M23 Okay shukurani, shukurani, shukurani. Tushida ile ambayo tunayo Vijana wanakagania kitika kabisa mashini gani Ile <laughs> anakula na hamu kubwa kabisa kitika sababu njala wanagawanyana kitika watu tatu hiyo <laughs> ni hiyo ni uzuni kubwa sana hiyo ni uzuni uone watu tatu wanagawanyana kitika wakiwa kwenye wakipigania inji yao na wewe unalala kunyumba kwako vijana wanalala porini ni haya kubwa sana kwetu sisi kama watu wa wa kongomani hatuna haja ya kupigania inchi yetu vita si kwamba si wote tutapigana kwa risasi lakini waweze kupigana kupitia pesa kidogo ulio nayo ona kijana yule mkakamavu sura inabadilika sababu ya njala siku tatu kijana niko apiga mashini gani lakini haya wai kula chakula chochote huzuni kubwa sana kwetu ni huzuni kubwa sana na kama unaweza Welcome back to another video and don't forget to subscribe. There was a little group who have decided to give up after months of fighting the MO23. There was a little group that contains young Congolese men, young, energetic, have decided to give up after staying all days hungry without having something to eat, not even water. They have decided to give up on fighting the MO23. The young patriots came out and uh, uh, voted to fight the M23 and destroy them. They came out and joined the FODC, Mai Mai Nyatula, they, they joined the FDRL and so many different rebels who decided to turn against the M23 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Today, the Wazalendo members have decided to give up. They were abandoned in a certain area where they didn't have what to eat, they did not have water to drink, they were not given bullets they are not given enough machines to use uh, uh, the guns to use in the war something that is a, a threat to them because they are scared of being killed they don't have weapons to use most uh, and the most important thing is they don't have food they cannot fight on empty stomachs the wazalendo uh, militia have decided to give up on the war and go back home and sleep start snarling because the FODC soldiers and also the government of Democratic Republic of Congo have refused to feed them. They have refused to take care of them, yet they are contributing a lot in this war. Fighting has continued in the Democratic Republic of Congo between the M23 and FODC soldiers. This time around, it is different because the war has gone to another level. The FODC soldiers are now using new weapons, updated weapons that are so fast. They, they do a lot of work more than uh, the weapons they had before, something that is an advantage to them. After the defense minister in the Democratic Republic of Congo decided to import weapons from Indonesia, it is confirmed that the FODC soldiers are using new weapons against the M23, and these weapons can reach very far. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.